Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. One minute. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about how to scroll a vertically. Scroll vertically is nothing but if you take this app, okay, and we can able to scroll uh, up and downs right we can uh, apps activity then we can able to scroll up and down right how we can able to scroll this thing okay there are two ways i'm going to show you one programmatically how we can able to change another one also mathematical operation there are two ways old uh, in case if you see any uh, videos which is related to mobile app automation testing that they're showing for taking for entire screen uh, width size and then they're going to uh, get the width and height then after that we can go into divide something and then we are going to take the x coordination and y coordination and then we are scrolling and all right this all the things they are going to show you but additional i'm going to show you already we have a function that is called uh, uh, set as vertical set as vertical this is the one we have okay by using this particular one how we can able to swipe this is the one i'm going to show you okay now i'm i'm going to first we'll go for mathematical operation this mathematical operation it will scroll uh, very up uh, uh, like uh, based upon how we are going to provide a mathematical operation similar format then only it will work otherwise it will not work okay up to activity i'm going to take okay this particular scrolling is the right i'm going to make for some comment okay now after that we can able to use for our mathematical operation what mathematical operation we can able to take it right uh we, here we can able to get the first device size device size and then we can able to use for driver a dot a, sorry a get window size where is window size? yeah yeah window size we can able to take that get window size this one it will get that complete window size okay even if you want to print you can able to print that device size how much it is there okay then after that we need to take for width uh we can make it for width or screen width meaning full name okay here i'm going to use for device device size and the square brace single quotation i'm going to make it for width okay and then i'm going to use for screen now i'm going to use for height okay and device size i'm going to in the square by single quotation height okay then if you want to print these two we can able to use a print screen height print screen width okay now both the cases we done okay now we need to get the x coordination and y coordination to for the width okay start x okay in the start x what we can able to take the screen width divided by 2 okay start y equal to screen width divided by 2 okay this is the end sorry end x end y okay similar format higher also we need to take start start y equal to screen height in to 8 divided by 9 then 
start start x sorry not start x right it is end x end y equal to above is x and below is y and screen height divided by 9 this is a mathematical operation we have to take the uh, similar format into our real time okay then only it will go for x coordination and y coordination otherwise it will not go for properly okay and you need to take for this you need to go for uh, settings and their uh, build options and you need to tap uh, multiple times then you need to go for uh, developer tools and there you need to enable for one ui things then only you can able to see that is a real device okay if you go for emulator it is not possible for this particular section okay but even you can able to use it we can able to swipe by using this as well but we need to use similar format you need to follow the way what i'm going to do I'm going to use for driver object and you can mouse over touch actions. It will ask you to import, then you can import for that. Okay, then you can use for actions dot long press and here you need to use for options. If you mouse over, it will ask you for whether it is uh, need to go for web element location. If you know for web element, you can provide or you can take for x coordination y coordination for sun certain like uh, the starting positions okay this we need to take if you don't know x and y coordination you can mention for none mention for web element okay i'm going to do for x and y coordination and in your say when you are trying use for web element side okay and what position to what position i want to scrolling that i'm going to do now okay for web element, I'm going to use for none. And then I'm going to use for. And here we can able to use for start X, comma, start Y. Okay. Then I'm going to use for dot some moving element because we need to go for last also. The move also similar format only. Okay. None comma end x comma end y okay and we need to use for release and perform why release and perform because we are used for touch actions okay touching the actions okay if you scroll now it will scroll some little bit okay how it will scroll we can able to see now but you can able to use for real time also this format but we need to know about that mathematical operation then only you can able to do but other than that how we can able to vertically you can able to scroll means that i'll show you another format which i showed right set a vertical uh, scrolling that we can able to scroll now you can see now you can see scroll bar is scrolled down completely correct if you see here we can able to width 1440 and 3036 is a height and height and width okay and we can able to read that uh, values and we can able to use it based upon that it is scrolled completely down okay up to wallpaper okay and if you want to go up again means similar format is just use it here copy this one and paste it down okay and in that what you can able to do right just we need to replace these two values take these two and keep it here okay and which is starting these two values are there right copy these two and paste it here it will go for back to top position it will go for sit into the top position now again i'm going to scrolling okay now what we are going to do now we are going to do for down 
and again we are up means top to bottom bottom to top we are going to scroll vertically top to bottom and bottom to top that is the one we are going to do for the actions okay up and down down and up now you can see down it came now again it is going for up the first position this is a way we can able to do it okay and if i don't want to use this mathematical operation i want to do for some different approach this is the approach i want to do how we can able to do means just we can able to enable up to here okay now here what i can do right scrollable and ui selector and everything is same and here you can able to see right this is the one i'm going to remove first i'm going to removing this okay now i'm going to take for my vertical set one okay then what i can do dot this vertical it what it will take it will take for ui scrollable okay ui scrollable what are the functions it is having if you go for filling finding and all the things are there okay but you can forward backward view text beginning and yeah scrolling end okay scrolling end i'm going to take and scrolling end i'm going to mention for number that is called five by default all the mobiles will having for five scrollable options some options having three Two, one. If you provide ten also, if there is no ten swipings, only for three swipings, then remaining thing it will collapse it. Okay, don't worry, it will not throw any error. Okay, this is a one approach, and I'm going to make here commenting. Okay, because we need to see right only one, all the things like. But we scrolled completely down as well as we come uh, down, done for down and uh, both the cases, right? Okay, now I saved. Now I'm running now this one, okay? Now we are using for another format that is a set vertical option. Set vertical option. Previous now we used for programmatically. Now we are going to use for another programmatic that is uh, default options that is set vertical list now you can see again scroll down right now if you want to go up what i want to do there is another one scroll to beginning scroll to beginning this is the one we need to use it and there is another option it is there if you see scroll to beginning and max and steps max swipes and steps if you use max is 10 and steps you want to scroll three then it will go for three steps scrolling okay if you mention for first one with only for max how many time you want to scroll that if you mention it will scroll up to that okay here it will take for only how many steps you want to scrolling okay these are two formats are there and in your end, you can practice the scrolling to beginning one. Okay. And if you use for this particular one, okay, scrolling max and steps. If I'm going to copy these and pasting, now I copied beginning one and I'm going to make it here. Again, I'm going to mention for stop five only and just I'm going to run this one. Okay, now again my emulator I'm opening. Horizontal also we'll see in the next video session, but I'm not going to show you mathematical operation directly. I'm going to show you for uh, how horizontal will work out. Okay. Now down, now again up. Okay. Everything is done. Okay. And uh, how we can able to vertically now we saw right next video session time i am going to show you how we can able to do for horizontally okay by 
maybe you will get question if i use a horizontal here name if i use for scroll to end and all whether it will work or not no it will not work for you that it will uh, give you some errors and all but i'll show you that also will see whether we can able to do because in the last time when i'm trying right it is not working for that whether this time it will work or not i'll show you that as well okay thank you for watching subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video thank you